Hey folks, what's going on? This is the Teutonic Plague. Now, before I get into this pre-game video, uh, I had this whole thing planned. I was going to play music. I was going to have a fucking picture up. You know, Eagles versus Giants, pre-game, the exciting conclusion to Giants hate week. But... Unfortunately, uh, the members of my family I live with are sensitive to loud noises, and loud noises includes, yes, me ranting and raving about the Eagles, so, uh, but I will be going back to my other place very shortly, but uh, unfortunately, I gotta, do, I gotta do it like this for now. I, I gotta do it like this for now. Uh, isolated in this little space, my little area here. Now, with that out of the way, with that out of the way, tomorrow, noon central in America, at Lincoln Financial Field in Philly, the matter will be settled. The matter will be settled. Giants at the Eagles playing against my birds in Philly. And I'll tell you one thing you don't do. You don't come into our house and shake us down. No way. Uh-uh. Now let me tell you, let me tell you something else. We'll be wearing our black uniforms. Do you know what a black flag means? Huh? Do you know what a black flag means? It means no quarter. No mercy. None. No mercy. It also means, what the hell is this power tool doing on the floor? That's dangerous. I'm going to put it here. Uh, no, then the blade's sticking out. I gotta, fuck! Uh, uh, I don't want anybody stepping on it and breaking. This is a freaking garage back in my place. I don't want anybody stepping on and breaking this, this tool, so I have to put it, I'll put it right there. Shouldn't be on the floor. Somebody could step on it and destroy it, and that's no good. But what was I saying before? Kind of lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow, noon central, Giants and Eagles playing the Eagles. I already said that. You already said that, Plague! And I know what you guys are thinking. I know what you Giants fans are thinking. But, Plague, you have an injury-ridden team. And you lost your last couple home games. You lost at home against the Cowboys two weeks ago, Plague. And you have an injury-ridden team. Your team is riddled with fucking holes, for Christ's sake. You're not gonna win, Plague. You're nothing. <laughs> Shut up! Do you know who faced the Giants in week six and won? An injury riddled team, and we still won? Yeah. But, Plague. We've got Eli Manning and Saquon Barkley and Odell Beckham Jr. and Jack Rabbit. Oh, we've got so many weapons, Plague. We got so many weapons. Then how the fuck, if you've got so many weapons, how the fuck have you only won three games this year? Well, if you've got so many weapons, how come you've only won 
four. How come you've only won four, Plague? Yeah, we've only won three, but you've only won four, Plague. Well, guess what? I'm going to say the same thing you're probably saying. We got, including tomorrow's game, six games left in this season. Six games left this year. Do you know what I want? All six! Six in a row! The plague wants six in a row! I mean, yeah, we gotta go through the Redskins twice. We got the Cowboys, we got the Texans, we got the Rams. But first we got you morons. Your New Jersey midgets. And let me just say, it's gonna be a real treat watching my birds in those black uniforms thrash the living shit out of Eli Manning. We are gonna thrash the shit out of him. Let me tell you something about Eli Manning, and I've been saying this all week. Eli Manning is fucking old. Eli Manning is an old, old man. He's Grandpa Eli. Let me tell, let me tell you, the Wensonator, he's going to cream Eli Manning and his boys. He is going to cream Eli Manning and his boys. Eli Manning is old, he's done, he's finished, he should be in a retirement home, and the only reason you won your last two games is because you went up against some shitty teams. You went up against, let's see, last week you went up against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with Ryan Pixpatrick, old Ryan Fitzception. The week before that, uh, the week before that, who the hell did you... Uh, Play the week before that. I can't remember, but it was another shitty team. And I'm not a Giants fan, so it's not my particular business to keep track. But you played two shitty teams and you beat them both. Hooray. Oh, fucking Ray, for Christ's sake. Meanwhile, the Eagles... I'm actually surprised at the Cowboys' performance. They're actually doing good this year. The Saints are also doing good this year. You beat two shitty teams, and we lost to two, frankly, worthy opponents. That, count, that game against the Cowboys was a real nail-biter. I can't be mad. Like I said two weeks ago, I can't be mad at the way the Eagles played against the Cowboys. If you'd done a couple of more things right, you would have had the game. But every win and every loss is something we can build off of. And we've been steadily building. I mean, yeah, we won the Super Bowl last year. But we have been steadily building, regardless, you know, injuries aside. We have been building and we've been working hard to get to this point. I hear that you guys have too, but I think it's still going to be an Eagles victory. Everybody's flying with the Eagles. We were the underdogs last week, and this week we're the top dogs, and rightly so. We thrashed you in week six. We thrashed you in week six. What was the score? 38 to 13? Birds 38? Uh, New York Giants 13? I think it was. In fact, I know it was. It was 38 to 13. Well, guess what's going to happen tomorrow? Probably a repeat of week six. We beat you once. And you know what? Like I said, 
We're going to beat you again. Why do I keep saying the same things over and over and over again? Because I need to get it through to your thick, giant fan skulls. Your thick skulls, for Christ's sake. That there is no way that you New York Giants, that you New Jersey Midgets, are going to win tomorrow's game. With that being said, before I go, let me just say, I'm excited as hell. I'm hyped. All right? I just got me, I just went to the store and bought me and bought myself a Christmas present, an early Christmas present, a Thanksgiving present, if you will. I mean, my Thanksgiving was excellent. I hope yours was excellent, too. I hope you all had a, gr a great Thanksgiving, but now it's back to business. Well, you know, it's, it's back to, it's, you know, we're past the turkey. Now it's back to business, and y you know what? Tomorrow's business is going to be a grisly business as the Giants get slaughtered by the claws of eagles. But meanwhile, I just got me a new punching bag. So a new 70 pounds. It's a 70 pounder. And let me tell you, I'm excited for this game. I'm hyped. I'm animated. I'm actually happy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this energy. I'm going to take all this energy... I'm gonna put on my fucking, I'm gonna put on the gloves that came with that thing, and I think I'm gonna give it a good few whacks, and I'm gonna pretend that it's, see, that I'm Carson Wentz, and that parse, and that punching bag is Eli Manning. I'm gonna make like I'm Carson Wentz, and that punching bag is Eli Manning. Cause you know what? Eli Manning's done. Carson Wentz, Carson Wentz is going up. Eli Manning's going down. He's gonna curl up and die soon. I mean, I'm not, I'm not wishing death on him, but he's gonna certainly die sooner than Carson Wentz, if old age is a factor. The guy's old. So I'm gonna make like I'm Carson Wentz, and that punching bag is Eli Manning, like I'm the Eagles, and that punching bag is the Giants, and I'm gonna fucking clobber that thing like we're gonna clobber the Giants tomorrow. Noon Central in America. Lincoln Financial Field, be there!